What's up everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Black and White. We are in the Peel and Wheel Forest where today we'll be going after my second team member finally. And I uh I realized in the past episodes, uh by that I mean this one and the previous one, I have failed to say Pinwheel Forest in the beginning. Yeah, I said last episode, like, you know, we're headed off to Pinwheel something forest, but it's just pinwheel, and I don't know why I can't say it in the beginning of my episodes, but before we can uh, catch my second team member, we need to get to a patch of grass, and unfortunately, there are a few trainers in our way before we can get there, so I'll be taking care of those, starting off with these two twins here, and I guess if they're twins, they have to be two, don't they? So that's kind of a double, double thing, double whammy something. And they're both going to be having Sawaddle, which is one of the Pokemon that you can actually catch in this forest here. You can actually catch uh, um, the two generic bug types, I guess, of this generation, which are Sawaddle and Venipede. Sawaddle is this one here. It evolves into like a praying mantis kind of thing, and it is a bug and grass type Pokemon. And uh, the other one being Venipede, which is a bug and poison type, or at least, uh, I don't know about the first evolution, but I know at least the final evolution evolves into a bug and poison. And uh, it looks kind of like a centipede kind of thing. Um, looks pretty, pretty weird, but, uh, it's bug and poison, and it's pretty cool. Um, both of them are actually pretty strong compared to previous bug types, like Butterfree and Beedrill weren't actually that great. Uh, but this generation's bug types, I feel, are a lot stronger than previous generations, uh. So yeah, for those of you wondering why I've been training only Charlie thus far, it, uh, I'm finally getting my second team member. And I was actually planning on catching something else as my, uh, first team member, but, uh, because I thought... You know, I thought about it, and basically, I thought my team member was actually a little overpowered. So, I decided to change it up, and here it is, as a matter of fact. So, Waddle will actually be my second team member. So, hopefully, this tackle here won't kill it, and I'll be able to catch it pretty easily. And it looks like, you know, two tackles won't kill it off, so let's go for another one and hopefully catch it. But, yeah, right there, um, it's got Bug Bite right off the bat, which is actually a pretty powerful Bug-type move. Or at least, you know, for this level, it's pretty powerful. Um, doesn't actually get a lot better powerful moves, and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to catch it with this Great Ball. I was actually gonna go for a Heal Ball, but I guess I'm gonna have to heal it up manually in order to train it. But, there it is, my second D-member, Sawaddle Caught. And I do actually have a nickname in mine already, so, let's go ahead and do that. Jeez, 5.5 pounds. I didn't think a uh, little Caterpillar thing would weigh that much, but apparently so. And I really like that they included, like, a... Um, QWERTY keyboard in this because I'm so used to typing on the computer that, you know, the QWERTY keyboard actually really helps out. And this is the nickname for my Sawaddle. It will be Spankwire. And, uh, yeah, I spelled that right. I actually had a recording before and I spelled it wrong, so I felt pretty stupid about that. Um, but other than Sawaddle and Venipede, uh, other Pokemon that you can catch here, actually, in the Shaking Grass, you can get the, uh, three monkeys, Panpour, Pansage, and Pansier. Um, the Shaking Patches of Grass, along with Audino, um, the pink... Clefairy like thing, or Wigglytuff more like, and there is a hidden item, but it is somewhere else, so yeah, let's go ahead and put Sawaddle in the first position of my party actually, because I want it to start getting some experience, and uh, you know, getting used to calling it Spankwire is going to take a little time because I've just been calling it uh, Sawaddle um, because I literally came up with the nickname like seconds before starting the recording, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, begin its training by fighting this Team Plasma person. I was about to say Team Rocket, but no. It is Team Plasma. And it is already level 15, which uh, Sawaddle actually evolves into Swadloon, its second evolution at level 20, and then by happiness into its last evolution. So, I don't know, I guess uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, evolves pretty early, and then happiness, I guess we'll just have to not let it die and give it a lot of massages and other assorted things. Uh, I remember in Heart Gold Soul Silver, I gave my Zubat, or I caught my Zubat in a Luxury Ball, and that was greatly helpful into getting the max happiness. Um, but yeah, other two Pokemon that you can find in this uh, Pinwheel Forest are actually Cottony and Petlil, which are version exclusives in white, which is the one I'm actually playing. You can find Petlil, and in black, you can find uh, Cottony, and they're both uh, just grass types, so... Yeah, I do not want a P-Dove. Oh, God. Yeah, that's really not helping out my uh, my happiness. Thank you, you stupid P-Dove. P-Dove isn't even a good Pokemon. I mean, I just, I really dislike P-Dove. I don't know. Like, you may have noticed in the episode that I talked about it, I was just showing hatred towards it. I don't, I just really don't like P-Dove. It looks stupid in its last evolution. I don't know why the male version is wearing, like, a freaking pink 
like hoodie. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's wearing something pink on its head, but I don't know. It's just kind of dumb looking, and it's a physical Pokemon, but it has a bunch of special moves. I don't know why that is, but I just want it healed up, and we're actually going to be doing uh, that little route that I skipped before, and there's apparently a hidden item around there. I'm not really going to worry about it. Uh, let's go in here, and actually I want to be using one of my repels, and uh, here it is. Let me go ahead and use that, and once again open up my dowsing machine, which I, you know, it's registered, so really easy to open. And uh, there's that little girl that raped us with her stupid cotton and pet little before. Um, I was actually planning on using Pet Lil at once, I mean after the one that I thought was overpowered, and this is actually Rog and Rolla, I forgot to mention, uh, you can actually catch this thing in the uh, Wellspring Cave that we went into, um, I believe two episodes ago, so if you remember that episode, or three maybe, um, if you remember that episode, you can catch it in that little cave, um, but yeah, I'm really happy that Spankwire already has a Razor Leaf, winning its battles, awesome, Bug Bite and Razor Leaf, at level 15 are just like amazing to have. They are very pretty strong moves. Um, they're just you know you get them early and there's apparently a hidden item over there. Might go get it. I don't think so though. I'm just a little lazy right now. Um, and apparently we're running into wild Pokemon because this freaking throw is the same level as us. I am gonna run away from this because it does not even give as much experience as an actual trainer battle. Or at least I don't I don't know. That's something I've never been able to really think about or look up. I don't know, I'm just, I guess I'm just too lazy or put it aside for way too long to actually go and look it up now. Uh, but let's go ahead and fight this guy with a Temple. And now that, uh, you know, I've got my second team member, I'm pretty much going to be using only him for a while. Um, instead of, you know, the usual episode where I'll just use Charlie the whole time, I'll actually be using Spankwire the whole time, probably. And this young man here will actually have, uh, I believe, three Temples. Um, and I'm, I might be wrong about that, and uh, I apologize again if my nose is like a little stuffy or anything going on with my voice. Uh, I'm still a little sick. I mean, I, I think my fever went away, but my throat was hurting a little this morning. Oh god, I th I'm gonna get some negative comments about that. Uh, but I don't know, I'm just not gonna care about them. Take out his third pimple, which I actually predicted correctly, and there we go. Yeah, there is apparently a hidden item up here, and it is right there on that little puddle. Yep, it is a tiny rush room, and we will actually run into a lady that collects tiny mushrooms later on in the game, so don't sell those to the Pokemon Mart. Uh, you will actually find a much better place to sell them. Just take my word on that. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up this antidote and continue on this route. And this route is actually a dead end. Um, however, there are a bunch of trainers to fight, and it's basically just training for my spank wire. I would have done this route the other episode, but it would have been just basically wasted experience that I could have gotten on spank wire here, so... Here's a Venipede, and I will actually... I don't know, should I keep battling this thing? I think Razor Leaf is actually... Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, this thing, uh, Venipede actually has the advantage over Sawaddle because it is half Poison type. So, let me go ahead and switch out to Charlie, and hopefully its Poison Sting won't poison me, and I will be able to take it out with a Razor Shell. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, also a Lillipop, which I probably should have switched back out to Spankwire, but I stayed in on Charlie for whatever reason. And that was, uh, Youngster Zachary. Sure. Uh, I have, speaking of which, I haven't seen, uh, Zachary, or Zack Attack in a while. I mean, he's kind of disappeared from the YouTubes, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's keep going over here, and there are two more trainers to fight here, as well as another hidden item. And, uh, as soon as she stops spinning right round, baby, right round, we can battle her and find out that she has a nice little timber. I don't know about that name, but it looks more like Alvin the Chipmunk. And you can actually find this thing in this route, which I've probably mentioned before, but just mentioning it once again. Um, you can find this thing in this route along with, like, Timple and, uh, some other stuff. Oh, God, I forgot Rock is super effective against Bug. Jesus, I am bad at type, type advantages here. Um... So once again, having to switch out to frickin' Charlie, because apparently, uh, Sawaddle's weak to every frickin' thing out there. I know it's weak to fire, flying, rock, um, bug apparent- no, not bug, poison apparently. And, uh, probably some more stuff that I just can't remember at the time. Ice? Yeah, that's one of them. So weak to a bunch of stuff, uh, probably some more that I can't remember right off the bat, but... Let's fight one more guy, and he is going to have another Timber, and I don't think any of my Pokemon are poisoned, but I saw, like, the the flashing poison thing. Even though in this game, uh, actually, one thing that I wanted to mention, in this game, when you're poisoned, you don't get damage from walking to the Pokemon Center. As you guys know, uh, 
in Gen 3 and below, uh, poisoning, you basically took damage with, like, every few steps that you took, and also in battle, you took damage. And, uh, then in Gen 4, they nerfed it down so that you take damage, uh, when you walk, but, uh, when you get to 1 HP, your Pokemon doesn't faint anymore, it actually just, uh, survives the poisoning and it goes away, but you've got 1 HP on your Pokemon. And in this game, they just overall just nerfed it down so that you don't even take damage from poisoning while you're walking around, so... I don't know why they decided to do that, but they decided to do that, and I'm really not complaining, because I hated freaking taking poison damage with every freaking step, it was so annoying. Uh, I'm going to spray one more repel... And then we'll be moving back into the forest. We'll probably won't have enough time to finish off the Team Plasma events, but uh, you know we'll take care of those next episode. And I probably should have gotten healed up, but I guess I'll just use a poison. A po I was about to say a poison, but I definitely meant a potion. Um, super potion right here. That was a lot more difficult to find than it should have been. But uh, there we go. And let's continue on the way we were going. And actually, let's just not do the Team Plasma stuff. Let's just go up here. There are a couple of trainers to fight on the way to where Berg should be standing, so let's fight them and finish off the episode with that because I really don't want to move on to the Team Plasma stuff. Uh, we'll just do that next time. Uh, so let's fight this little Muna here. And yeah, Razor Leaf and Bug Bite are pretty much going to be my, oh, my two moves for a while. And I can see Spankwire is already almost at level 20, so... Maybe we'll even have an evolution by next episode. Who knows? I just know that he's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna get him up to like level 22, just like Charlie, and uh, then call it a rest for training him, I guess, because by that time, I'll probably already have my third team member, which is actually not that far away, also. So, uh, this moon is being a little annoying with its stupid razor leaf, and why am I not going for bug bite when bug is freaking super effective against psychic? I do not know why I didn't do that, but now I feel stupid about it, and yeah, that's basically it. I feel so stupid for not using Bug Bite in the first place. It was like that dumb battle with the Cottony and Petlil. It was just so stupid how I got so badly beat up by those two stupid Bug Grass types. Ah, uh, yeah. This girl here is going to have a Wubat, which is also half uh, Psychic type, but it is also half flying type, so I'm hoping it doesn't kill me with, like, a flying move or something, so I'm actually going to be healing up here, um, just, you know, as a preemptive strike, not really a strike, more like a, uh, just a preemptive something, some word that I'm looking for, and of course it uses a gust right after I heal up, and god, you suck, you freaking killed me again, That that is just lowering my happiness even more, and this just means that my happiness is going to be even harder to boost up, and it's just annoying, so... I might just have to, like, you know, give myself some happiness, because I do have a certain level that I want to evolve, uh, Swaddle by, or whatever its evolution is. Um, Swadloon, that's it. But yeah, he died again, so I'm basically gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal him up, so... I think I'm actually gonna call this episode to quits here, because I don't want to go all the way to the Pokemon Center and heal up, so... And I'm back after healing up. Just a couple more trainers to take on that I just want to do in this episode, just because I want to. And apparently none of these are trainers, but I know at least uh, this girl is apparently. I was about to say the hiker, but I know this girl is now that I'm actually fighting her. And of course she has a P-Dove, so I'm going to have to switch out anyways, because I don't want to risk dying again and lowering my happiness even more. Now before I forget for the end of this episode, I just want to remind you, uh, I'm actually going to be putting a code in the bottom, or in the description. Or not a code, but uh, a link to a YouTube video which will show you how to get this game to run um, on no cash GBA because I know a lot of people have been asking me for that and I probably should have switched out and killed this purloin but of course I always forget and have to use Charlie in the end uh, I'm so stupid but uh yeah I'll be putting that in the description so click on that it will probably be a video by some other person because I don't want to, I don't feel like making the video myself and of course the hiker isn't even a trainer and as soon as you go up here you can't go past anymore because Berg won't let you you actually have to go and do the team plasma events now so I guess this is the end of this episode. Please remember to thumbs up, and I will see you guys later.